today we are going to be looking at some of my shells that I have received from people all over the world. This includes awesome Florida shells, some even from Florida. <laughs> let's get straight into the video. So let's look at some of the fan favorites and some of my favorites. Here we have a very popular shell, a Genonia. I guarantee I have a lot of people from Florida watching this video here, and this is a dream shell. I've shown this to you guys a couple of times, and uh, yeah, this was gifted to me by my friends in Texas. I will not say their name, because that's just a bit of respect. But yeah, this is one of my favorite shells I own. I love all the shells from Florida, especially the famous Genonia. This one's pretty big as well. It's like, I'd say 115 uh, millimeters. Pretty nice condition as well. Yes, I did get a haircut, if you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much to you guys in Texas. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at the other one right here. This one was also gifted to me by my Texan friends. This is a Konas Milneeds Wadzi. This one is a is kind of freakish, I would say. Uh, as you can see, it sort of angles out, which is really, really cool. This one is about as rare as a Genonia, but it is just a different shell. So the Genonia is a Volute shell. This one is a cone shell. Really, really cool. I used to have two of these, but uh, yeah, I got rid of the other one. And of course, I would never sell the gifts that I have received from people. So this one is one of my favorite shells as well. Yeah, we have a big King Helmet shell. This one was gifted to me by my friend in Florida. So he purchased this from one of the stores there, which is incredible. I see a lot of these found in the Bahamas. Uh, that's probably where it came from. But this was the first uh, King Helmet I had ever seen in real life. They're not found anywhere in Australia. Um, so that's why I had never seen one before is because they're really hard to get into the country. So that is one of my like favorite shells ever for sure in my collection. Awesome. The next shell that we're going to be looking at is quite a biggie. We have a milk conch. Check it out. So I got this here milk conch and a ton of other shells that I'll show you in the video from Sarasota Exotic Shells. Uh, they gifted all of these uh, shells that I'm about to show you to me just as a gift. So thank you very much, you guys. Uh, these will obviously never be leaving my collection, but this is just one of them. We've got milk conch there and we've got a bunch more in the uh, case here but that's the milk conch awesome one it's actually got like the sort of same stuff that a hairy triton shell has as well let me find one here it's a little bit different but it's kind of the same it's pretty cool that's kind of like the hairy uh, triton of florida i reckon but uh let me show you guys the other ones that were gifted to me we got this giant whelk here Lightning whelk, I believe. I don't know too much about whelks. Uh, we don't find anything like these here in Australia. So if that is a lightning whelk, or if I'm wrong, let me know. So we got that from Paul. He's from Sarasota Exotic Shells. Uh, we got, oh yes, one of my favorites. We got the giant Atlantic deer carry. That was a really nice gift. That was awesome. I had never seen one of these before in real life. On the internet of course but that was really neat uh we also had the horse conch i believe pretty sweet one of the biggest ones i've ever seen again this is a florida shell so they're harder to get here really cool what else did we have we had a bunch more yep yeah, we had a banded tulip that was really cool i love the banded tulips they're super nice and he actually gave me two sets of everything that I'm showing you here. And I gave all those away to a subscriber. And I remember the subscriber that won all these uh, was a little man in Hawaii. I think he was seven years old. Um, if you're still watching this, what's up, man? Uh, he actually sent me a video of him naming every single shell without looking at them, without looking at the uh, labels, which was really awesome. So we were able to give away a ton of those as well. Here's a really nice, uh, what is it? I can't think. Uh, these are everywhere in Florida. Like I see people don't even pick these up in Florida anymore. 
or not really much. I would pick every single one up. I think these are so cool. I forget what they're called though. I do have the labels for all these shells. Uh, have them all in a bag here. So don't think I've lost the labels, of course. We've got another one. Uh, oh, this one has the operculum, so it was probably found dead. Um, what are these called? What are they called? Um, fighting conch, maybe? I think that's it. A fighting conch. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, we have a couple more of those up there. Uh, we have another... Oh, well, this is actually a... A king crown or something like that? I'm not sure. I'm really not fond... Uh, well, I do like the Florida shells. I just don't know many names of them. We've got another fighting conch here. We actually have an albino fighting conch here. That was really cool. I love the Florida shells. One day I really hope to get there and uh, go shelling there. I think that would be incredible. What else did we have? Um, what else did we have? Just take a look around as well. Look at the collection a bit more. Okay, so one of my favorite shells of my whole collection, of course, is my giant queen conch shell that Imogen gifted me. I love the queen conches because it's got a massive pink lip and you guys know, any like odd colored shell like pink and purple and that sort of thing, I just think it's the coolest thing ever. And this one's from Florida and they're really hard to get here. So they are definitely one of my favorite shells. These are really, really hard to get here in Australia. Again, because you can't import this shell into the country or out. Um, so all of these are coming from really, really old collections and that's why they're so hard to get. There's a very limited amount here. But I have seen many videos in Florida of mountains and mountains of these shells here sitting in the water because they've been harvested pretty much. Um, which is a shame for us because this is so hard to get and it costs a lot of money to get um, when there's piles and piles of them sitting in, in Florida and they're just such a beautiful shell. It's really a shame to see them all being like pretty much destroyed. But uh, yeah, I'll keep this one forever along with all the other gifts of course. But this one means a lot to me. I think it is awesome. Hopefully I'll be able to find one myself one day. What do you guys think? That'd be pretty cool. Let's get 100,000 uh, views on this video and then I can afford to go there. That'd be very cool. But uh, let's check out my other Some more, of course, it just doesn't stop, it's awesome. We have a giant pin cushion sand dollar. I love sand dollars. We only ever find the tiny, tiny sand dollars here. But this one's huge and apparently this is a very normal thing to find in Florida at certain spots, which is just crazy to me. Oh, it is so cool. You can hear all the teeth. So this is also a gift. This is actually a gift from the same person who gifted me this helmet. So thank you very much, my man. This one will also stay with me forever. And I've had this for like well over a year now. Has always been well kept after. As you can see, it's not broken. Definitely one of my uh, favorite, actually probably, yeah, my probably my favorite sand dollar ever is that right there. I think it is incredible. Now, we also have some arrowhead sand dollars i think these are awesome these were gifted to me from a lady in florida so she found these herself i believe which is pretty incredible like look at this one it's got a pink tinge to it hopefully you guys can see it that's just awesome love sand dollars i just think they're incredible they're on another planet <laughs> i did have three you might remember sending me three i gave one to my mother <laughs> Didn't break it or anything, still perfectly healthy. But yeah, I love the sand dollars. Actually, we have another one here that was gifted to me. Uh, I also remember you might have given me two or three. They were gifted to my mother also because <laughs> she loves sand dollars very much. So they're really cool. As you can tell, I love sand dollars. I think they're just on another Let's Check point. out some more of the rarer shells that my good friends in Texas sent us. So here we have a Simatium rideri. It's basically a type of uh, triton shell. And this one is absolutely mega. And yes, I do have two of these. We have another one here. This one was gifted to me by the same guy that sent me the giant sand dollar and the giant uh, king helmet. I thought I've never seen one of these in person before I received these ones because again, they're Florida shells, they're hard to get here. 
Um, I thought this one was even like as big as they got. And uh, the people in Texas sent me this and I was super, super stunned. I had never seen anything such as like huge as this. Like, it's just incredible. Definitely one of my favorite Tritons I own. Alrighty, now we have one of my favorite shells, an Oliver Porphyria. This one is really, really rare and hard to get. Um, this one was gifted to me by my friends in Texas, the same people who gifted me the Genonia and the Mill Needs Wadzi. This one is incredibly awesome condition. As you can see, it's got a nice point there. Super nice. This one is my favorite or one of my favorites because of the textile like pattern, of course, which is incredible. And uh, yeah, I wanted this for a very, very long time. Uh, when they actually sent me these shells, these gifts, the one the people from Texas, uh, I actually had no idea what they were sending. They just said, hey, let's send you a mystery box. And I was absolutely surprised. Let's check out some of the more Florida shells. All right, so here we have some more Florida shells scattered around this little area. We got a bunch of mini whelks, which is awesome. I love the whelks. I got a massive parcel full of Florida shells just like these ones here one day. Uh, again, I don't want to say their name, but yeah, I love the Florida shells. We got some king crown conches, I believe they called that. Uh, what else do we have? A lace murex, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty awesome. So, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen these, but these here are Japanese scallops that were found over 130 feet deep in Japan. And they are incredible. They are very, very uh, rare, obviously. They are from the extreme deep. Look at that. Isn't that just awesome? So, they were gifted to me by my friend in Okinawa. Awesome. I actually won one of his Instagram competitions that he had, and he sent me those, which is really lucky. And then right next to the Japanese scallops, we have a bunch of uh, Philippines shells, which is really awesome, because the Philippines is like the capital shell world, honestly. Apart from Florida, if I were ever to visit somewhere, I would go to Florida first, then I would go to the Philippines, then probably Japan because of the variety that the Philippines have. So here we got a little deer cowrie, very nice, got another little Florida shell there. We've got a Mirax here, look at those colours, awesome. Got a map cowrie, one of my dream shell finds right there, they actually glow under UV light, which is really awesome. We got a big old turbo shell, awesome condition. And we got a bunch more down the bottom, just random sort of Philippines shells. We have some miscellaneous sort of stuff, you know. Uh, here we have a giant uh, Spondylus regius, I believe, which is incredible. I love the white shells, I think it's awesome. It's a big one, very, very spiky. You gotta be careful with this one, honestly. Picking it up, it's huge. Opens, of course. It's got the join there. Pretty sure I can take it out, but it's hard to get back in. So that's one of them. Then up here we have the Spondylus Americanus. Much rarer than the Regius, I believe. I believe it's a deeper water shell. Really thin, super full of colors. Pretty cool. Then we have, I forgot, I forget what this one is called. So if you know it, comment down below. The winner will get a cookie <laughs> sent straight to their house. Look at that. I reckon this one's incredible. Like, it's like the uh, Qantas of shells, <laughs> definitely. Very nice. Got one of these. No idea what, it call, what it's called. I do have the label. Uh, these ones always confuse me on their name. Really nice. I believe they're a deep water shell. That's why they got such vibrant colors. Got a little uh, horse conch here. Tiny, but it's really colorful. I think it's cool. What else do we have here? We have another big old whelk. Very cool. 
we have ah yeah this cone shell here i can't think of what this cone shell is i think it's a dusavelli canus dusavelli or dusavelli i believe it's a rare cone it's pretty cool what else do we have let me take a look we have uh, I believe that might be it. Ah, here we go. A giant uh, Floridian cockle. Pretty cool. They get huge over there. And I see them everywhere in videos, always alive. Which is pretty nice. We got, ah yeah. Um, what else do we have up here? One of these really, really nice uh, clamshell. Very cool colors. What else do we have? An angel wing. I love the angel wings. I love the massive ones. We got a bunch of olives. Very cool. I do have more up there somewhere. Alrighty, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I haven't been able to upload a shelling uh, video because there's no shells out. It's been raining all the last three days. The swell is huge. We can't get into the water. Hopefully tomorrow there'll be some shells. So drop a thumbs up to give me luck and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.